Horror Games for Wimps. What up, Wimps? Welcome back to Horror Game for Wimps, where I get scared so you get spared. We're still playing Outlast. This is episode 8. And, uh, and last week, last week and yesterday's episode, we got out of the sewers into the male ward just to go back into the sewers. And uh, we battled Chris. I say battled. Well, we told Chris to go fuck himself while we ran away. There were some bad noises. Uh, the wall riders probably getting closer and closer. But there weren't, other than a bit of steam, there wasn't any noticeable jump scares. I feel like this game is trying to keep... Okay, he definitely just appeared there, right? Right? There weren't any real jump scares. The guy ran at me, but... To be fair, I saw him coming from a mile off. I just didn't register him as a threat because I'm an idiot. So I feel like this game is is setting me up for uh, for some big ones. Yep. Yeah. What is that? This seems like a good time to change the batteries. I mean, I know what that was. It was a man screaming, but... Why was he screaming? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Show me what you've got. I know the last one wasn't so bad uh, when I thought it was going to be and then it was fine, but... Uh, these things make me nervous. As you can probably tell by the fact that I keep adjusting my headphones. And by adjusting, I mean taking them off. Right, quickly, what's down here? A door. A, a bad, bad door. I'm not going in there. At least I hope I'm not going in there. Please don't make me go in there. I've got hair all over me, all up in my face right now. Okay, I heard screaming. Oh, preparing things again. I see. How could you? I'm on my last battery. I have got to either find more or be more sparing. Probably both, but you know. See, this is what annoys me about video games. I could easily climb through there and not have to do that, but not in video game land. All right. Oh. Hello? Hello? Please don't jump at me. How could you? Bye, Felicia. Is it just me or has the game taken a noticeably more scary tone since I got in the... Since I got in the sewers? Chris? Is that you? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that is! Probably. It's somebody. Let's go. Key. God, give me a battery, please. Well, I have to go this way, it seems. Hey, friend. Please don't jump at me. 
there a battery? <gasps> there's a battery over there. I'm just gonna step around you. Yo, I don't care for these random sounds. Oh, okay. All right. Very considerate of these inmates to lock so many doors behind them. Because you know that these guys have ac access. God, I heard like a toilet flush and I almost pooed myself. Oh. Oh, the doctor. I remember something about a doctor. Is it now? Is this it? Yeah, this. Seems like it might be. Oh, that's. Alright, this seems to be setting us up for something big, so let's just see what it has in store for us. That's a look. Or not. Oh, a folder. Law. Sweet, sweet law. Patient status report by Tr Rick Traeger. This patient also unfortunately didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. And I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, somebody's got to cut the fat from this Project Wall Rider disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid. But I've managed to slim back personnel by more than 80 people, which means short-term savings in salary and long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. So, Traeger is, um, a medical professional. I, uh, I wish I knew where to go. All the doors, all the doors have, ah. Mm, listen to those, listen to those violins, I think. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Put those gymnast arms to good use. Alright. I'm just going to crawl and if something grabs me, something grabs me. I can't be wasting. I say that and then I immediately... Uh. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh. 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 Oh! Fuck! Uh. Uh. Please, please, please! Push, 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 push! Push, 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 push! You fucking weak piece of shit! Okay, you know what? That was actually I'm not sure I'm safe yet. So let's just keep running. Oh, oh, did I die? 
Yeah, I died. I thought there was maybe going to be a cutscene there or something. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yes, I... Oh, no, I, I really can't. Ah! Okay. Okay. No, I'm still not safe. Time to keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Who's down there? You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumb waiter if you want to live. Okay, let me in. Ha 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 Bullshit priests guy, aren't you? <sighs> He's a witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. Huh? Let's take a break, huh, buddy? You old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little common fab. Blah, blah, blah. Hellier than you look. A little car you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go. Arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. The worst. The worst. Oh. I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and then take a stroll? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll wait here. <laughs> Go on, run free. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. Those to the grindstone, I like that. Okay then, right this way. Sorry, my battery's dying. And apparently so am I. Bye, exit. <laughs> oh, that was... 50 shades of fuck off. I refuse to believe that you have mail to send, yeah. sir. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, no movies. And it'll give us a chance to talk. My camera. Oh, you're naked. I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible thumping. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable when people get scared. There's like to turn to God as anything else. And God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete thing now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Okay, so I know what happens here. Um, if the sort of background gore that we've been getting hasn't turned you off so far, but more explicit, um, torturous violence uh upsets you uh in short i'm about to lose a finger or two i can't quite remember um yeah well, money becomes a matter of faith and that's what i'm here for make you believe so look away now you paying attention 
Don't pass that on to me. It's a lot for you to absorb. Better than that, right? Here's some way cheap here. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. Oh, is that you? We on the floor? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I'll add that. Oh, I'll add that to the tag list. Okay. So, um, that concludes this episode of Horror Games for Wimps. Probably, I think, one of the more violent ones. I don't... Again, my knowledge of this game is very limited. I just... I happen to know about that because my, uh, my boyfriend let something slip once. Um... I don't know if it gets more violent than that. Probably. If we've still got Chris and the Wall Rider to deal with. I think. I think someone loses a head at some point as well right in front of me. So, um, yeah. that's a, I think that's the sort of level we're going to be hovering around going forward. Uh, so, just a heads up. Anyway, I'm going to come back to that in tomorrow's episode. So thank you for watching. Wimp out.